It's time for another Stranger History video and this time I'll be covering the history of the minor nations in the Ocean continent, which include Aurelia, Phaeto, Gebet, Laysaf, Nordlands, Raetio, Recta, Sapin, Ustio and Wello. Wello isn't technically part of the Ocean continent, but I'm including it because it's in the same general area. Now the reason why I'm covering so many nations in the same video is because there's not enough information for me to cover each nation individually, so I thought I would just compile the little information on all of these nations into one video. To start, let's talk about the nations in the northeast of the Ocean continent, in particular the nations around Belka, because as you know everything in Stranger has to do with Belka, one way or another. We know that during the early 1970s, Belka invaded Recta, thus triggering the Recton conflict. Although Recta had a relatively small air force, the Recton pilots were very skilled because the Recton military focused a lot in the quality of the training for its pilots rather than their numbers. And so the Recton conflict became a stalemate even when facing the mighty Belkan air force. This stalemate was brought to an end when the elite Silver team was dispatched to the Recton front in 1973. With the help from the Silver team, the Belkan military managed to win the conflict and annex Recta. Before we proceed with this timeline, I should mention that in the 1970s, Belka was having an expansionist period and it's believed that Ustio was part of Belka by this time. 14 years later, in 1987, Belka was facing an economic crisis and in that year, the Belkan Federal Law Review allowed some of its territories to obtain independence. On February 8th of the following year, 1988, this large territory in the east of Belka became independent. Ace Combat Zero doesn't mention the name of this country, but later it would form two separate countries, Gabet and Recta. Some months later, another large section of the Balkan territory became independent, on May 12th of 1988, a territory that would become known as the Republic of Ustio. Similarly to Recta, it is implied that Ustio had been annexed or conquered by Belka several years ago, but it's not known when. From 1988 to the 1990s, Belka sold several of its territories to other nations in the hopes of recovering from its economic crisis. Among the countries that gained some of the Belkan territory, we have Osia, Sapin, Ustio, Phaeto and the two countries of Gabet and Recta, who used to be that large territory that first got independent from Belka, but ended up splitting itself apart into two countries. One important thing to mention is that while Ustio did get some more territory from Belka, Ustio also lost a large chunk of its territory to the neighboring country of Raetio. There is no information regarding what happened between Ustio and Raetio and we'll probably never know, but we could speculate that there was a war or that Ustio also inherited some of Belka's debt, but at the end of the day we don't have an official answer. As for the ustio balkan relations after the independence of Ustio, we can say that they weren't that good as during the years prior to the Balkan War, there were some minor engagements in the ustio balkan border, more precisely in area B7R. As you know, the situation escalated with the discovery of natural resources in the former Balkan territories and in 1995 there was the Balkan War. As you all know, Belka invaded Ustio, Sapin and Osia, but I must also point out that the Belkans invaded the eastern countries like Recta, Phaeto and most likely Gabit. There is very little information about these countries and how they fought in the Balkan War, but what you need to know is that they participated in the conflict even though they aren't highlighted or mentioned in the maps and cutscenes of Ace Combat Zero, but nevertheless, they were present in the Lumen peace treaty ceremony that marked the end of the Balkan War. After the Balkan War in 1995, the next thing we know is about the country of Wello in the year of 2007. Wello, this Greenland-like country that also has several islands close to Osia, is famous in Stranger for its neutral policies in foreign affairs. And because of that, the country was supposed to host the Stranger G7 summit of 2007. However, there was an attempt of a terrorist attack near where the summit was supposed to happen and the event was cancelled. Another thing related to Wello is that there was an incident that took place in 1985 called the Wello Incident, although it actually took place in Balkan territory. There's not much information about it, but I've put a link in the description if you want to know more about this incident. In 2008, Osia hosted the G7 summit aboard the Arkbird and the countries that participated were the following. Osia, obviously, Yuktobania, Verusa, the Republic of Enya, 
Eruja under the interim ISAF government, the Federation of Central Yuzia, and lastly, the country of Nordlands. As a matter of fact, this is the only mention of Nordlands in the entire Ace Combat series, indicating that Nordlands is one of the major nations in Stranger when it comes to politics and the economy. Other than that, nothing else is known about Nordlands. One of the interesting things that I noticed about the countries in the 2008 G7 summit is that Wallo did not participate in the summit despite being the country that was supposed to host the conference in the previous year. What I have said so far concludes the information we have on countries located in the northern portion of the Ocean continent. So now let's shift our attention to the countries in the south of the continent, namely Aurelia and Laysaf. Now I know that many have requested a video on the history of Aurelia, but as you see there is not enough information for a standalone video just about either Aurelia or Laysaf. We do know, however, that the late second civil war began before the year of 2019, because it is said that it lasted several years, but we don't know exactly when or why it started. What it is confirmed is that Aurelia sent humanitarian aid to Laysaf to be used by the civilians during the civil war and that this aid material was diverted by Laysafian leader Diego Gaspar Navarro in order to fund the civil war with the purchase of weapons. This is the same situation faced by Emeria and Estovakia but the difference here is that it is implied that Navarro himself diverted money to his faction and that his faction did win the conflict. Later, in 2020, Navarro used the argument that Aurelia had funded the Lake Saffron Civil War in order to invade Aurelia, when in fact Navarro was only invading Aurelia to increase his personal fortune, as he was also the chief of the Lake Saffron arms industry. Of course, that thanks to Falco and Griffo squadrons, the Lake Saffron invasion of Aurelia was a failure and Navarro lost his position as commander of Lake Saff. I should also mention that both Lake Saff and Aurelia had some advanced technology. Laysaf with the two area fortresses, Gunder and Gleipnir, and their super fighter Fenrir. While Aurelia possessed some advanced fighters like the XFA-24 Palace and the YR-99 Fornells. In the aftermath of the war, what we know is that Aurelia, who was apparently a developed nation, focused on the reconstruction, while Laysaf continued being an impoverished and war-torn nation for the foreseeable future. This concludes what we know about the minor nations of the Ocean continent, but before we finish it up, I would like to mention one interesting fact about the country of Sapin. In the Brave Arms game, which was an FPS type of game that was being created by Project Aces but that was later cancelled, the government in the Kingdom of Sapin had been overthrown by a military regime some time after the Balkan War and before the year of 2025. Given that Brave Arms was cancelled, we cannot take this as an official fact about Sapin, but one thing I thought was interesting is that during Espada's 2 interview in 2005, where she lives as a civilian, we can see a tank parked outside of the building. Of course, this isn't proof that the coup d'etat happened in Sapin, but I thought I would mention that because you don't see tanks parked on the streets unless you're in a war or your country has a military dictatorship on power. But anyways, please take this last section just as a theory that does not fall on the canon story of Stranger. This brings us to the end of the video and I hope you have enjoyed the content presented in this episode and that you have learned a bit more about Stranger's minor nations. If you want to see more about the history of Stranger, I highly recommend the episode on the history of the Ocean Federation, which you can find here. This was Ace Combat Fan, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you guys next time.